Mark Sampson here, Technical Director, Coach Better. Tonight's session is a big focus on scanning and awareness. When we spoke with Stephen, Stephen talked a lot about how important it was for him as a midfield player to check as often as he could to take on board information. So the position of the opponent, position of the teammate, position of the ball, and how often he does that during a game. So what we talked about tonight was a real focus on, as a minimum, taking at least three looks. And we termed that before the ball arrives, as the ball is traveling towards you, based on the speed of the pass and the pressure from the opponent, and after the action, after the pass, after the dribble, after the cross. So how often can a player take on board information to make it easier to make the right decision in that moment. Super simple practice. So we're using the reds as guides, as cones. Five slash six players. And this practice can work with multiple numbers. So a minimum of five, maximum of six to 12. And simply how we start is we ask the players to move the ball around the diamond. And after every pass, they would follow their pass. So every station, would always be manned by players to continue the practice. Practice two, so how we progressed that, was to move that to add a little bit of an opposed situation. So now encourage the players, if we use this as the opponent this time, we encourage the players, so I'll use that as an opponent, we encourage the players now to make good decisions based on what that defender does. So the defender has the option to block that straight pass. So if we take those out so we can get a real clear picture. And that would dictate to this player now, okay, I'll play around the outside. I can't go through, so I'm gonna go round. And we're still encouraging this. Before, during, after the action. We also allow that defender to make an early decision to say, well, you can block this pass or you can go and defend that pass. And now we're looking to encourage these players on the end to go through that process. So if they're not, it'll be a lot more difficult to make the right decision whether to play a vertical pass, i.e. through, or to play round. So even though this was our focus, there was a multitude of other outcomes that can come from this simple practice. We're now looking at the decision making. Is it right to play through or round? Maybe add some disguise to the pass. So if the defender's starting to move here, can I maybe shape to play round, but actually play through? So a session that is really simple to set up, really simple progressions, and we chose to use this practice to work on scanning. But it's a practice that can be used to work on a multiple of techniques, tactics, decision-making and adding challenges for the players as we progress and go on based on the ability. So adding challenge or limiting that stretch by making it look easier. Taking the opponent out, asking the defender to make an early decision. Whereas if we want to stretch the players, we can make this defender really active. So actually you're free now, no restrictions. You can go and tackle, Position yourself to make it as difficult as possible to make that decision. And we'll see then a multitude of outcomes come out just based on the organization and setup of the practice. Last part to mention, where does this practice fit? Practice fits from players probably as young as eight years old. And we manage the size of the area, the conditions and the rules, right the way through to senior players, where again, we're changing the conditions, we're changing the rules, when and manipulating the targets to stretch or support the players to the level they need to be. We're going to do some real simple practices. So the practice should be pretty easy to understand. The challenge is going to be what we're trying to do within the practice. All right, so the big focus for this evening, I don't know whether you call it, if I said the word scanning, what would that mean to some of you guys? Go on, tell, tell me more, go on. Yeah, brilliant. All right, so scanning, awareness. Tell me more about it. So you said moving your head around. What, what's that mean? Why are you doing that? Definitely. All right. 
And always in football, you're looking for like evidence. So like, what do we know works? Like we know that Haaland at the moment, if he plays, he's probably gonna score a hat-trick, all right? Other evidence tells us, black and white, that the difference between top players and not so top players is lots of different things. So one might be great at dribbling, are you great at dribbling? No, yes, good. One might be great at passing, but the common denominator is awareness and scanning. How much information someone's taking. What player globally at the moment is the one who's probably ticking the box for the most amount of shoulder checks and taking on board information to execute really well at the moment? Any ideas? Messi, Messi always has been. There's a guy in the Premier League now who's on fire. Brilliant, who said that then? Definitely, okay. So one of the themes we're gonna talk about, and it might be super simple because I'll repeat it all the time, is that ultimately any chance you get to check your shoulders, we're gonna try and take it. Any chance. All right, let's get started then. Yeah, yeah so like now's a good chance, isn't it, to be thinking, okay, what's going on around me? All right, uh, love that. We and you gonna get on. But fundamentally, we're gonna think about before the ball arrives. So for example, I'm thinking, right, I'm moving to receive the ball. It's probably gonna to come to me. Tick box number one. Before it arrives, what can I see around me? If you're a top player, you can do it while the ball is traveling. So if I'm firing that in, oi, well done you. I knew we'd definitely get on. What about the last one? So before, during, what else you reckon? When else? Both sides and after, brilliant. Pop it off, what's going on next? So pretty much, I'm watching you play, but I'm fundamentally looking at how often you're scanning, but it's still executing very well, like you just did then. So don't forget the ball, obviously, because number one priority is still look after the ball. I want to look as the ball travels, but if I can't, I've got to manage the ball. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to watch this group. So come across this little red diamond here. We're going to jump in. Right, at the end, the cones are guides. They're not opponents, they're just guides. So depending on how quickly the ball comes, you can receive it in front of the cone, or you might decide to give yourself more time and receive it behind the cone. The guys who are working are really you two. You're the ones who are really focusing on what we just talked about. So for example, I start here, and all you're gonna do is move like you would in a game to receive the ball and play to your mate down here. Simple as that, okay? But what we are talking about is that look of before, so maybe when you're passing it, I'm thinking, right, it's coming to me next. Now is a good chance to look around. As it starts rolling, I can have one last little look. And as I play that pass, I get back in the habit of doing it again. Start at the tempo you feel comfy with and build it to the tempo you want. Three, two, one, let's go. Good choice. Well played. Okay, what I am gonna do as I go round is just choose one player to focus on and count the scans from them. Just one player, I'm have a look at. I'll count to 30 and see how many scans I'm getting. Good lad, well played, superb, superb. Good. Brilliant. And relax, well done gents, well done. Okay, after we've passed, we're always gonna move to the next cone. We're still gonna go around to the right, Keep it obvious. Because we're gonna build it up, I've got a choice now. I can play to you, or unfortunately I can miss you out. So for example, I might decide to go, I'm just gonna fizz that in there, and then we work around here. I would still move to this cone, and you go into that one. So a bit like a game, can I pinch that ball? I've scanned, I've looked, up oh, defenders read that, I'll just play the longer pass instead. So we're still guaranteeing the quality as best we can, but we've got to get you guys on the end now anticipating. Because if you roll the ball there a second for me, I've got to be thinking now as that travels in there, 
to the end, sorry. I've got to get ready. How many scans can I get in before I might receive? I still might not, but I might. Okay, start on the ends and still round to the right. Three, two, one, play. Good start. Good choice. Oh, miss him out. Yes, okay, stay there. Still support it. Well played. Good. Good. Think about your scanning. I'm still watching a couple of players while I count them in. Real focus on after you play. Ooh. It's the right idea. Just bad execution. Good. Good. How often can you be looking? Come on, take some information. What are you looking at? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where are... Yeah, good lad. Well played. Good. Same again here. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Good. Same again. How many looks can you take? How many times can you see me? Good boy. How many times can you see me? Keep looking where I am. Keep figuring out where I am. Keep figuring out where I am. Good. Well played. Good. Keep figuring out where I am. Where am I? Where am I? Keep an eye on me. Make sure you're aware where I am. Brilliant. Where's that pressure going to come from? Good. And relax and take a breather. And take a breather. Good. All right, we're going to start with one ball and build it up. All right. What I do want you to do, without telling anyone or without telling me, just pick one of your mates in your team. So, for example, I might have chosen you. And as best as possible, keep an eye on what he's doing. How often is he scanning? Because next time we stop, stop even, I'm going to ask you to give him a little bit of feedback. So next time we stop, you're going to go to the mate you just work with and say, hey, love that you, brilliant. Just think about maybe as well, after you've played, you have a little scan. Okay, come and stand in the middle for me. Question is, without a bib, it'll be a little bit more difficult. With a bib, it'll be a bit easier. You guys okay without a bib in here? Cool, okay. All you're going to do now is choose what you defend. You're going to choose what you defend, okay? So, we're always going to the right still. Ball goes from there to there, and it gets played down here, okay? You've got two choices. You can stand still, because I'm stopping that pass. With me? So if I stand here, good choice. I'm back in there for me. If I started to sneak out here, brilliant. To start with, be really clear. So make it obvious. Don't, don't give it... One of them, really obvious. I'm like, no, I'm staying here. Go on, here we go. Brilliant, where's it going next? Where are you going next? Good, where's it going next? Good, where's it going next? Good choice, and relax. Now what, the challenge I'm gonna give you is can you know whether you're playing to the side or vertical before it gets to you? Have an idea. And relax. Okay, you guys are gonna set up. You gents can start playing from the end Still pass and follow. So one of you come down here, please, gents. One of you come down here. We're going to work in this grid. Oh, good choice. And you can go on the end side here. Well played. Well played. OK. Everyone ready? Off you play. Off you play. You're good. Go on. You ready? Good. Make a choice. Good. Now the next one. What are you going to defend? What are you going to defend? Good. Are you going to come and mark him? There you go. Well, well played. Brilliant. Yeah, work it out. Brilliant play. It's okay, we'll keep playing though. We'll keep playing. Good, good, good. And relax, and relax, and relax. Well played. Now we can be a little bit more active in the middle. So I want you to play the game now. I want you to make it as difficult as possible for them to get the ball from here to here. So you might call, oh, it's a great position, isn't it? Now, the closer he moves, yes, you've got to adjust. What have you got to be aware of now? He's behind you, isn't he? Just like a game. People coming from different angles, different positions. How often can you check? The last thing we want is you two boys crashing. Okay, be ready? Now, relax. And at the end, let's be as creative as we can. Let's be as creative as we can. So a little bit of disguise. I can see him out of the corner of my eye. Can I thread it through? But really take care now with retaining possession. Let's go. 
Brilliant start. Good. Good. Well played. Don't forget your scanning. After the ball. Brilliant. Oh, hey, I like it. I'm just checking. Brilliant. Good. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I gone? Come on, where am I next? Where am I next? Where's your mate? Brilliant. Good. And relax and relax. Now we're getting active. Now it's starting to feel a bit like a game. Now we've added some more distraction, i.e. on your back, an opponent. What started to happen less and less that was happening at the start? Absolutely. So if I was to give some feedback now to some individuals, I'd be saying when there was no competition, no pressure, look brilliant player. That way, that way, yes. There we go again. Now the pressure comes in and we tense up a little bit. We focus on the little round white thing. As often as possible, take your eyes off the ball. Back yourself. The ball can be two metres away and I can still react to that and play. The more information I can take in, the easier the game will be for me. Okay, ready? Let's play. <clears throat> nice play. Well done, you two on the side. Excellent. Good, nice and active. Go on, nice and active. Good. Good. Don't forget that straight pass if he gives it to you. Good, that's the one we want to look for. Good. Good choice. Well played. And relax, and relax, and relax. Let's swap the defender around. You can have a breather. Good job. Gents, application, concentration, brilliant. Thank you. I pinch your ball. Okay. I'm going to increase the aggressiveness of you now. I'm going to let you loose a little bit, okay? So the person in the middle, be a little bit more competitive. I love that. A little bit more competitive. Because the problem we got now is that if I play a pass that maybe is too slow, what's to give you a chance to go on, get over there. Stop. And relax. What might you do in a game now? So imagine you've looked over your shoulder, I've got enough time to play it, but by the time it gets to you, because you've looked while the ball's been... Oh, brilliant choice. Brilliant choice. And that's what we can do now. So let's work that through. Go and get tight. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. And relax. And now you've got to think about how quickly can I get it from there to there to there? Or if he hasn't quite recovered, could I just play straight in here? So now we're really thinking about how quickly we can go from end to end, but still with the ball under control. Before, during, after. Okay, ready? Come on, defenders, three steals. Play. Good. Oh, superb play. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Brilliant. Good, good. And relax, and relax, and relax. Hey, I don't mind that. Don't mind that, and relax. Yeah, relax, relax, good, good. I'm gonna really encourage you, as best as possible, where would, you, where would you want to play if you could? What's the best pass you can play in this game for us? 100%. So if you do get enough space, do you reckon you had enough space in there? Yeah, definitely. Do that, go on, turn, turn. Oh, 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 oh. do you reckon? Do you think you could have turned? I don't know, you tell me. Now you haven't, there we go, there we go. And relax, okay, you boys get playing. And relax, and relax. Get a new ball. Get a new ball. It's okay, we're working through. We're working through. Good. Great ball. It got there in the end. And relax, and relax, and relax. Bring yourselves in. Bring yourselves in. So that won't happen again? If you saw your mate struggling a little bit? 100%. All right, so don't panic. You know, if you make a mistake and you see your teammate make a mistake, 100%. He can also always he can always turn to you and say, "Be quiet, I'm fine." I always use the example of how many times do you reckon Lionel Messi gets told "man on" in a game? Go on, how many times? Every time, surely, isn't it? Because every time he gets it, he's something like that on him, isn't it? Does he play backwards all the time still? No. That information is there to help you make a good decision. Help you make a good decision. I can choose to say, 
thanks for telling your man on, but no, I'm good enough to still do that. I've actually looked and he's not that close to me. You think it's a man on, but that's enough room for me to open up because I've had a good look. Or I might pop it back to you, look again. Now I've got time to play forward. Okay, take your time, go and get a little bit of water break. Then we'll organize ourselves into something competitive. Okay, young man? Huh? You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Good boy. What position do you play? I'm a center, I'm a center. Hey. Center. Center, center. And what's your, what's your big quality? 